Henry loved climbing up on the couch and jumping off that constantly. That's what he was always doing. Our lambs even wanted to sleep in our bed with us. It was an enormous change. We've always had animals in the house and we've had cats. But having lambs, they want to be warm, they want to sit by the fire, they want to cuddle, they want to sit on the couch while you watch TV. I took them to work with me and they slept under my desk. They sort of were just like doing everything that we would do with a dog but being lambs. This was our first time fostering and adopting lambs. So we didn't know how it would go, but as soon as we brought them in, we just thought, this is fine. They think they're meant to be in here and, and we have no problem with them. It's a few early mornings and late nights, but it means they get to live. So <laughs> it was sort of just like a no-brainer. <laughs> We originally said we're only going to have Louie in the beginning. Um, <laughs> that didn't last very long. Another girl that we know contacted us and said, I found this lamb, I need somewhere to go. And we thought, why not? It was less than a week later. Lance was found by someone. So we said, yes. We thought, what's, you know, one more. It sort of was no different to just having any other pet. Henry, he is the naughtiest, cheekiest lamb. If anything was ever destroyed or chewed up, we always knew it was going to be Henry. Lewis was sort of like his sidekick that went along with him for everything, and Lance is like really sweet and well behaved and didn't want to cause any trouble. They got to about this size here and they were still jumping up on the couch and sleeping on the couch, all three of them, watching TV with us. They were allowed to do whatever they wanted. They wanted to sleep in our bed and it was okay in the beginning, but then sort of when they get bigger and you've got three lambs and four cats. And then when they got a little bit bigger, we had a stable built in one of our sheds. We probably left it a little bit later than most people would because we, it was like quite a process for us to accept that they were moving out. <laughs> We'd put them to bed in their stable at night, but then we'd go out like multiple times just to check in and say hello and give them a pat. They were missing us and we were missing them. It was a hard adjustment in the beginning, um, but I think they're finally getting used to it. <laughs> we run around a lot, just like we did in the beginning. They still hop, they sort of bounce up and down and jump. They're still just as affectionate, maybe even more, um, you know, as they've gotten bigger. They love getting scratched like this. Like I give them all head massages. And I think sometimes they don't realize that they've grown. They almost knock me over because they're so big. We were thinking that was it. And then there was a few farms around the sort of areas where our ones came from. That's how the other two popped up. Ashton is the neediest of the lot. He follows us everywhere we go. Someone texts you a photo and says, you know, this, this lamb's come up. You think, how could I how could I say no? We have lots of room. So yeah, I think we will we will get more when we see farm animals. We see them differently as we see domestic animals. When you bring them into your home, you realize that they're just little individuals.